What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame of a Four. In this video we're going to be recapping on the build the Terminator T800 just because the fact of there's so many pieces that we have here, a variety of pieces and I'm going to talk about a few mistakes that we made in the previous one and what it should kind of look like at the moment and the build quality and how good it is you know and going forward if we are going to be modifying and stuff like that so but the first thing is this piece was wrong when I first did it somebody did mention it when we did this in issue four so this is how it should look so it should have the uh, long arm on this side with the the knobbly bit there and then this side should be the uh, longer the longer piston with the kind of hook bit there. So if yours, it should look like this. This is how it looks in the magazine. This is the way around it should look. So if you don't have yours looking like this, you need to go back and revisit it just like I did and have it so it's like this. So this is the arm. Look at the kind of sheer size of the arm. Let's kind of compare it to my arm. I mean, this isn't the part of the arm that it is, but it just gives you an idea of how big this model actually is. Can you see that? Just, just such a big piece. I think this is only a section of the arm and it's almost as big as my head so this is going to be a beast when done so it's going to be a really good thing. Um, this channel is sponsored by Hachette so Hachette have sponsored us to do the Terminator so we've got to be really grateful for that. If you guys haven't uh, or not doing this Terminator just here to watch then please enjoy it. It's going to be such a great build. If you want to go and build it I'm telling you now this is going to be worth it. The, the build quality this is this is all metal uh, the top section here is plastic but this plastic is so thick and sturdy I feel like you know it's a good quality. The detail people have matched the detail on this compared to the actual Terminator in the movies and said that it's really really spot on to be fair for what it's going to be. Some people are saying that it's not worth it because of a, a Terminator that you can buy pre-built is going to be just about the same price or even less but you know what the whole point of doing part builds is for the fun of it so you can modify it build it and make it your own you know and that is the whole fun of doing a part build is to actually have fun enjoy it if you can't afford it um, obviously save for it or do you know you could save up for it or you could just watch it if you like to just see it and watch people there's loads of channels out there with people doing it so you can go and support them and then maybe later on if somebody say cancels one sometimes people give up and you can buy it halfway through and you can always subscribe anytime uh, they will be releasing it in other countries and then you'll just be able to keep going the same with the Delor DeLorean some people are only just starting it now when most of us are actually nearly coming to the end so right so the other pieces you get you've got the face piece this is all metal really good piece we had to glue the nose section on so if you haven't done that it recommends there's a lot of glue and there's a lot of super gluing on this model uh, which I wasn't gonna I, would, I was kind of not expecting it as there's a lot of metal parts but this section the nose section here that has to be glued on so make sure you get some nice thick gel super glue or something that's really good try not to skimp on the cheap stuff because you don't want it falling off eventually and there's there's a few sections that you do have to glue so I would go and invest in some good super glue um, just because of the pure fact that you want it to kind of hold together and you're going to have it on show and it's going to have moving components you kind of want to make sure that it stays together if you can uh, the, these are the eye sections, so this is the, all the pieces you should have up to issue 7, so we're recapping on issue 7. Uh, there's the mouthpiece, I haven't modified my teeth, I, don't, I just want to keep it standard for now. I feel that people are saying, oh you should mod if you're going to mod now, but if I'm going to modify and weather the teeth, that's something I can do at a later date when I've got the whole head together. It's not something that you have to do straight away. Um, but yeah, there, there are a lot of people saying that the middle tooth is on the bottom jaw, which is here, isn't really kind of true to form because on the model itself, there are two teeth at the front there. But you know what? I mean, there are some human beings that actually have uh, a middle tooth. We don't, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. It's just such a, a fine detail, not even a major detail for me to worry about. Uh, if I'm going to, I'll just probably weather them at some stage. Um, you know, if people have grinded in here uh, the bits to make it look as real as possible, then that's absolutely fine. If that's what they want to do, then they can go ahead and do that. But for me, I'd like to just keep it standard for now and modify it maybe later on once it starts to come together and it's a bit more of um, a bit more of you know a structure to build from. So we can kind of see where they've gone wrong and then we can either grind into it and stuff like that. We can always mask things off 
and do it at a later stage. Right, we should have one finger. The fingers are really good. They actually go together really well. They weren't too difficult to pinch together. People say they fell apart. I'm really not too sure how they fell apart because I feel like it's quite good and it, you know, the fingers a good metal solid piece. So it is, it's really nice. I do, I do like the fingers. I can't wait to get them all together to see kind of like how the hand would be. You think that's my little finger? That's the same size as my little finger. If you look at that, see that's the same size. So that's actually gonna give you a good idea of how big this thing's gonna be. It's gonna be a piece, I can't wait to build it. I'm really excited. You should have a plastic bit like this. I think this is kind of like a lever bit maybe for the jaw, which we'll be doing later on. It hasn't asked us to piece anything together. People that have sat it together are just people that have got this and you know, they've just they've put it on here just for sort of picture, picture preferences and stuff like that. So if we just slot this into place here, so that's the top piece. And then they've got the mouth and kind of put it together just to sort of show what it would look like. And you can kind of get an understanding that the mouth would be quite big, if you see here. That is going to be a bit of a beast. I mean, just it's just this is just the face plate. So this isn't even the whole head. So as you can tell, that is this piece will probably sit at the bottom. The jaw will sit on that, and then this piece will sit on top. So it will all kind of structurally go together because I'm guessing this is kind of like the neck piece. And you know, it moves around, it's really sturdy. You want it to be kind of like a harsh, sort of sturdy, thick movement. You don't want it to be wobbling around because you don't want the model to be all wobbly. You want it to be sort of, you can put it in a pose. Uh, and th that, that kind of makes it um, guarantee that it's gonna be like that just because of how thick that this is quite hard to move but you can move it so that that's always good this piece is here is plastic a nice thick plastic may I add and then this is like a really thick metal and the metal's heavy this arm is quite heavy so it's going to be a bit of a weighty uh, machine once it's done but, but that's good because we want it to feel like we're paying you know for the quality and I think you're getting that with this model you're definitely getting quality uh, here, so you will be left over with say like this this piece. I do worry that you get little pieces left over uh, Because you kind of need to keep it in a tub or keep it somewhere really safe Just for the fact that you don't want to lose all these pieces. You will need to have a piece that's like this So these are the pieces so you should have one two three four five six seven eight pieces That are going to be pieced together at some point you do glue on another section Which is this top section here. So this section that covers this is glued on so that section there is another piece that's glued on we did cover that in the last issue so don't worry there guys here you will need a piece that looks kind of like a fan through there and it says to make sure you don't glue over the four black holes so make sure you don't glue over the four black holes like it says because you're probably going to need to get a screwdriver in there at some point so that's why it's telling you to do that probably telling you to glue that in for now just to keep it out the way so make sure you do that guys right so this has been my recap. At, at the moment, so far, I am really happy with this build, how it's going. I love that we got to test the eyes. I know that a lot of people are doing something with the eyes, where they're kind of just putting like a resin on top of it to make it look a bit more real. That's great. I mean, to me, I don't feel like this is kind of the same thing as the drawing. I don't think this is going to be too difficult to strip down if we want to modify some bits. I feel like we could probably take them eyes out quite easily when we get to the head stage just by taking the face piece off probably get into the eyes and then if we want to do that that's something you can do so so don't feel pressured to do anything like that just enjoy the build take your time uh, you can still subscribe to this now so you haven't please check the links down below because you can go down there and click on there and just check it out if you want to do it if not then you can just subscribe and watch the build here there's loads of people doing it um, so do go check all these other YouTubers out because there's some really talented people out there. We do have the Build the Terminator website, so please go check that out. There's some amazing people on there, and I know there's some modders on there that are going to mod the hell out of this, and it's going to be amazing because it always is. So, yeah, guys, that's that for now. I just want to quickly talk about the screwdriver set. So far, um, I'm not rating this immensely because I don't think that the screwdriver set is amazing. I'd say it's very average because it doesn't fit most of the screws that we have. I found that my little Wilco's one has been a, a good one and I've used one that's from the DeLorean build. Uh, I do need to kind of find a really good precision screwdriver to keep putting this build together because I do struggle to find bits that fit. So yeah, I would say that there are a few bits where 
on these pistons when you have to put the bottom of the piston together and you need a screwdriver that goes in there. Had a lot of screwdrivers that had quite thick bits on the end, wouldn't fit all the way into the hole or let alone do up the screw. So this struggle with that a tiny bit trying to find a screwdriver, but we managed to find one in the end. So not too bummed out on that, but you know, that's it for now. Um, guys, we will be recapping this again. Let's do it in the next eight issues and see how much more of this has come together. Hopefully we'll have a head, because remember that's just a faceplate. I reckon the head's probably gonna be like this big. So we, it's gonna be really nice to see it all together. And yeah, I can't wait. Guys, if you have any questions or if you're struggling with the build or if you want some help, uh, just comment down below and we'll put, point you to the right direction. So uh, thanks very much for watching. You've been watching Flame before. This is my recap on the Builder Terminator T800. Loving it so far. Gonna definitely give it a 10 out of 10 until something um, comes a cropper, but at the moment we're doing well. So thanks again, guys. Speak to you real soon. Bye-bye.